Yo yo people, welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Proxmox 8.4.0 which is the one I have to Proxmox 9.0. This is the brand new one as of August 2025. It has Debian 13. So let's go. Step one, you need to log in to your Proxmox server. So that's what I've done here. Enter your IP address, enter your port number, log in as you normally would. On the left hand side, you need to click on your data center. So for me, it's going to be called PVE. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me directly to Shell because I clicked on it before this. So what you will need to do on this window here you need to click on shell here and once you click on shell you're going to be allowed to enter your commands here the very first command you need to enter i'll copy and paste mine on screen i will also have them in the description of this video and on my website so if you want to go to my website and copy and paste or from the description of the video either one will work fine i'm going to right click here and i'm going to paste what this is going to do this is going to help me update and clean my current system so when i press enter you might see some red things somewhere don't worry that's only for the enterprise versions of proxmox everything else seems to be okay so i'm going to let it run and do its thing and then the next thing we need to do is to auto remove some stuff that we don't need anymore i don't think i have anything but i'm still going to do it anyway again i'm going to copy it then i'm going to right click then i'm going to go to paste press enter yep everything seems okay now i need to reboot my system this is going to disconnect you from your entire data center so once it reboots and comes back up it might ask you to log in again so simply log in get back to this stage and then we can continue the next thing it wants us to do is to back up our configuration file i don't think for me i need to do this because what i have is a very very, very bare bone system, nothing really important running. This is just for testing purposes, but I'm going to show the command anyway, and I'm going to put this on my website and in the description again. So I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it over here and have a look at the command, read it in my description and on the website, I'm going to press enter there. So that's copied the file there. And I'm going to copy another file as well. Right click, do paste, now the file copied. So I've copied both of those repositories to somewhere else. So I've copied the configuration file from here to this location here. And the second one I've copied from here here to this location here. I'm not going to worry too much about that. My system is not a critical system, so it doesn't really matter to me. The next thing we need to do is to update Debian repos to Trixie. Trixie is the name of the new Debian 13. I don't remember the name of Debian 12 actually, but Debian 13 is Trixie. So I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste all of this and that's going to do everything I need to do. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to do its thing. There we go. Job done. Then I'm going to update the Proxmox repo. This is for people who do not have a subscription. So I'm going to copy this again. I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to go to paste. I'm going to press enter. That's done what it needed to do. There's this extra step, which I don't think everyone will have to do. I'm going to try it because every time I boot into my server, it tells me I don't have the enterprise thing. So I need to subscribe. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to paste this command in. Hopefully that will get rid of um, the enterprise pop-up that comes up every time I sign in. Press enter there. This next command I'm going to show you. This is if you have a subscription, you run this instead. So I'm going to copy it. I don't have a subscription. I'm going to paste it here. If you have a subscription, this is what you run. So please, Please be careful. The next command I'm going to show you is what you would do if you're using the Ceph repo. I am not using the Ceph repo, so I don't need to do this. I'm only showing this for the purposes of this video. So again, have a look at it, read my documentation on the website or read the documentation on the Debian website or read the documentation on the Proxmox website. Both should explain roughly what you need to do here. Finally, my next step is the upgrade to Proxmox 9. So I'm going to do apt update and apt full upgrade. So let me copy those. I'm going to paste them over here. I'm going to press enter and I'm just going to wait for it to finish. So it's asking me if I want to restart services during package upgrades without asking. Yes, that's going to make my installation slightly better so that I don't have to keep going. Yes, yes, continue, next, next. Press yes on there. Now it's asking, what do you want to do about the modified configuration file sshd underscore config? I'm guessing this is the SSH file. So I am going to, because I don't actually SSH into, into this, I'm going to install the package maintainers version just to get the newest of everything. This is the configuration file I backed up earlier. I'm going to keep the one by the package distributor. So I'm going to put in here a capital Y or just a Y for yes. Continue. That's my system fully upgraded. So all I need to do now is to reboot. So type R-E-B-O-O-T. Press enter. That's going to reboot. It's going to disconnect. I'm going to have to log back in using the IP address again. I'm not sure if the IP address will change. I doubt it will change. But if it does, you know how to find your IP address. Simply turn the monitor on on the server and it will display the IP address, the local IP address you need to type in, as well as the port number. I'll show you guys once that's rebooted. My IP address remained the same. So I'm going to log back in and see what comes up. So here we are again. Click on the server here. Go back to shell. And I need to verify the version I have as the correct version. So I'll simply type in PV. E version. I'm just going to paste mine in. Paste. 
press enter and there we go proxmox version 9.0 so there we go just to double check if everything is working okay i'm going to start up two or three of my vms so i've only got three vms here so i'm going to right click on this one which is 100 that was my very first one right click and go to start and then i'm going to do the same thing for the second one i don't think it's using too much too much resources on that first one so right click again go to start and to view this I'm going to click on the actual one I started and I'm going to go to where it says console and that should show me hopefully what is loaded up. Yep, perfect. So the VM works perfectly. Okay. Oh God, what's this password? Hopefully that's what it is. If it's not, then I have no idea yet. There we go. VM starts up perfectly. Okay. Loads to desktop. Um, let's see if I can get to start menu. Menu there. Let's open one of these random apps. Let's open contacts. Yeah, it works. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was useful.